Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays and in this video, I'm going to do my long-awaited island tour. Now, I kept pulling it off because my island's never done, but you know, today I was just like, you know, F it, let me do it. So yeah, so welcome, welcome to Magica. So I chose the name Magica because while I was waiting for the game, I was really in a depressed mood. And feeling lonely, so naturally I just rewatched a bunch of shows that I liked. And the last one I watched before this game came out was Madoka Magica. And I love the show. I mean, it's a little bit depressing, so yeah, but it does a good job. Okay, I'm not here to review an anime. I love Madoka Magica, so I named my island Magica. So that's just the gist of it. Oh my god, there's a balloon. Hold on a second. So that is the gist of the name of the island. Now let's go explore the island. So I am fresh off the airport. I have the orange airport, not the blue. Kind of bummed about it, but I'll get over it. And here is my flag. Now, I, do, I drew that myself. So that's why it looks kind of danky. <laughs> but I do love blue, as y'all can tell. I love hearts. And I don't know what the gray was. It's I guess it's, I had to put something in the background. All right, so here's the first thing you see when you enter my island. A fountain, of course. Everybody has to have a fountain that's like a staple. If you don't, then you're probably more creative than me. Um, we have blue flowers on the sides. Now these are mums, not mums. Now these are actually pansies i don't really like pansies but i'm just waiting till my blue roses you know are ready all right and here we have some blue brick now this blue brick i got from a pinterest of course and i liked it so i put it down it's pretty cute pretty cute and in the middle of the blue bricks uh we have the hearts now this all used to be hearts that was too much hearts didn't want to overkill it so i put the blue brick beside it now, another reference to Madoka Magica is the flower arrangements. Each flower corresponds with a character. So, of course, in the middle we have Madoka's, which is pink, Sayaka, which is blue, Kyoto, which is red, Homura, which is purple, and Mami's, which is yellow. So yeah, I chose the flowers that best represent their characters. Now, that is the last reference to Madoka Magica on my island. It was not just random arrangements I chose to put there. They do have a significance, and that's why they're in front of the town hall. Now here's my town hall. <laughs> oh, Label is here. Hello, Label. All right, and we got a few flags. So over here is the cafe. Now it's a little cafe, and it has a little jukebox, which is adorable. So yeah, this is my little cafe area with the menu. It's so cute. I'm proud of it. I'm trying not to organize my island as I'm touring the island. <laughs> Moving on, we have this picnic-esque area. I don't even know what to put over here yet. So right now we have a fountain, a bench, another bench, um, a cookie stand, popcorn machine, <laughs> and a lot of random junk. I am going to do something with this area, don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. <laughs> All right, so down here we have a little beach. Nothing much to say over here. Now, here we have a little bridge that I made. Though I had to take off the fence because I wanted to fish fish that were in there. And here we have our transition to some of our villagers' homes. Now, before that, I have a well and a little picket sign to my house. Now, I chose like random flower arrangements just based off color for each house. And I like the red brick. I really do. And here is a little picnic area. Now, the thing on the bottom is actually a DIY kind of pavement. So I just got the DIY and I just put it as a carpet and it's cute. I put a little picnic set, ukulele, palm tree, and uh, yeah, it's very cute. And here we have a pool and the ocean. <laughs> So yeah, I always thought it was cool to have a pool right next to the ocean, so I put a pool right next to the ocean. A lifeguard stand, more palm trees, my deck, my DIY for the day, 
And here we have a bunch of overgrown flowers. Now you might be wondering, are roses native to my island? No, they're actually lilies, but I have so much roses that it might as well be my native flower. And this is called Lee Lane, because Mandy Lee, Lee Lane, you, you get it. Now here we have some houses. Now I wanted to go with a more city feel, cramped together kind of thing, and maybe a community kind of vibe going on. So that's why the houses are very close to each other. And um, yeah, I like it like that. But I did put some flowers next to their houses to make it a little bit more pretty. And some lampposts. And here, by the city hall, we have the nook and cranny store. Now this used to be like all the way on the other side because I don't know why, but I had to walk a lot, so I put it here. And plus it looks better, keeps things more consistent, cohesive. And um, here we have some golden roses. Now I put them there because nook makes money, money, rose, gold, you get it. And here we have the Able Sister Shop. Now this one used to be next to Nook's Cranny on the other side, but I moved it as well. So I can, you know, get there faster and it looks more cohesive. Now I put flowers next to it. These are lilies and cosmos. So yeah, that was that. Now moving on to the other side, I have some wildflowers just there and some lilies. This organ player, which I don't know why I put there. This gas station thing, which I actually think is really cute. And this OK Motors lamp thing from the app. And a cotton candy machine, because why not? <laughs> a telephone booth over here. And this is where I have my little flower shop, though my flowers have grown. And I have to clean it up. And here is the little park. I have some garden benches and some out of season bushes and some in season bushes which are the blue hydrangeas I think and here are the last of the villager houses we have over here. I hate the greenhouse. I hate the greenhouse. I wish there was a homeowners association because that is nasty. <laughs> but yeah here's a few more of the villager houses. I like to put um door plates that kind of reflect the personality and i got that from gamer girl now not all the doors have door plates but i'm getting to it but here is coco and she's actually inside it's weird and here are some more overgrown flowers and here is the camping site i had a little camping thing over here with the camping tent up and here is the camp sign a few pine trees and more overgrown flowers it's been raining a lot in my um island recently and here are some more flowers i do have a lot of flowers because i love flowers so i'm very proud of that i did good with the flowers this time around now here is a, a space that i want to do something and you can tell by the workbench and the garbage tin that something's gonna be here i just don't know what yet so yeah, look forward to that, I guess. Here are some bamboos. Now I do have more bamboos, but they take up so much space. Not only do they need the f the square, they need another square to, to reprocreate or whatever. So they take up a lot of space. And here is my little zen area. Let me go through the front. Now I have this thing from the Wash the Bird, Gulliver. <laughs> Uh, a little spa thing, some bamboo themed furniture, this, which I've seen in a lot of uh, anime, but I don't know what that is, and this bamboo lunchbox, some incense, more bamboos, and yeah, all that good stuff. A stone, a lantern, you know, all those traditional looking stuff. Alright, wow, I'm getting so much balloons right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta catch them while I can. So over here we have some trees. Now my island is lacking a lot of trees because they take up so much space. Here we have more trees. I have some peaches, but my native fruit is pears, though I am running out of pears too, so that's kind of sad. We have oranges, more peaches, 
and to a bridge. Here we have the museum area. Now I have all gold roses here, um, some blue hydrangea bushes, and here is the museum covered with a bunch of flowers. Now most of these flowers are arranged, but some of them kind of overgrew with all the rain, like the blue ones, which I don't mind, more blue. So yeah, that's pretty nice. We got some purples too, and yeah, and a bunch of trees over there. Now I am going to spread out my trees more so they're not on top of each other and I can actually get stuff from shaking them but for now they're all like lumped together but we have a few here. Oh and here's a little walkway. This connects to the town hall so from the town hall you can go up to the museum and you could go over here for I don't know. There's nothing over there. I do plan on moving some villagers back there because I have so much space. So over here, now this is where my house is. And yeah, I have a blue tiled heart and um, some pavement here and a DIY workstation outside for when I need to make stuff on the go. There it is, a bench with a duck on it. <laughs> Of this hammock which is gorgeous and a blue palm tree light so yeah now here we have some blue hydrangeas and some blue flowers now I do have a few lily of the valley flowers now these are only obtainable once you get a five-star island I got a few of them on my island now this is called my blue shallot now a shallot is a French you know mansion that's made out of wood and it sounds fancy and it's blue so I was like it's a blue shallot I'm probably pronouncing that wrong now on the floor we have the blue heart because you know that's my flag my insignia everything I do has a blue heart apparently and on the door we have the blue rose door plate or wretch or whatever it's called reach read reach So over here is a pathway towards the back of my island, which I'm very proud of. I love the cosmos. And here are my babies, my blue roses. Um, they're growing right now, so I don't really take them anywhere. I'm just trying to get as much blue roses as possible because I do love them. Some more clusters of trees, which again, I have to spread out. Now this is where my Nook and Crannies and Abel's shop used to be, by the way. That's why there's a pavement there. So yeah, we have some more overgrown flowers. It's been raining a lot on these islands. So yeah. <laughs> and I already have a lot of flowers as it is, so it got kind of wild. It is, So it is pretty wild how much flowers I have. Some more Lily of the Valleys. And some more roses. Lots and lots of roses. So yeah. Some tulips, mums, lilies, oh, hibachis, whatever these are. Uh, wildflowers, mums and all that good stuff are over here. All filled with flowers. So yeah. At least I have a good variety. Now up here is the back of my lake and it also has flowers a lot of them now that's how I got the blue roses because I kind of used the chaos method and just put a bunch of flowers and see what comes out and yeah I got a few blues off of that so yeah a bunch of flowers um this mill thingy maybe I should make a farm hmm. idea more flowers <laughs> more flowers you can just call me the flower lady because holy moly, I have a lot of flowers. If you need a flower, let me know. I'm your gal. Oh, and by the way, this is not the end product. <laughs> no, this is just, you know, a phase of my island. When it gets better, I'll do another tour. A little bridge over here. Some more flowers, trees, bamboo, mess, more pine trees, all that tree stuff. Trees, trees, more trees. And now over here, towards the back of the museum, 
We have more flowers. I got, damn, I have a lot of flowers. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to clean up on the flower department. Now up here, we have a little park area. Now, there used to be less flowers, but like I said, overgrown things get in the way. But it is still a park. It has a bench over here, a little light post, a little sightseeing thingy, a bench over here. So it's a little romantic spot, even has a heart pond in the middle. So yeah, that's the other park. And yeah. So yeah, that is about it for my island. I don't really have much going on, like little stations or whatever yet. Because I'm just building things right now. And the flowers, definitely the flowers do not help. Um, I do have plans to kind of redo a bunch of stuff as well. And when that happens, I'll do another tour. But I just wanted to do this tour just to show you guys my island as it is. And um, kind of tore it because I haven't done it before and I promised you guys so yay <laughs> with all that being said thank you guys for joining me on this island tour really appreciate it hope you liked the video if you did hit that like button and if you like my channel and would love to see more then please hit that subscribe button tell me what you guys think of my islands in the comments down below please don't roast me too hard I know it's a work in progress. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a very, very great day. And as always, play a good game.